win tonight. Obviously, uh, uh, you know it's hard to win football games. We got, you know, uh, as everybody's talking about, we had a young team. We have a younger team. A lot of young guys got out there on the field tonight for first opportunities. What a great environment this was here. Uh, uh, you know, to come play it. I mean, this stadium. I mean, you can see that, uh, that Coach Monk is changing the program around, the culture uh, for what they're doing right here. That's a pretty darn good football team, much improved team. Uh, from last year in every single facet. And, uh, you know, so it's obviously challenging and a sold out crowd uh, in a hostile environment. I'm proud of the way. Our kids responded and found a way to win the game. Now, well, we've made a lot of mistakes. You know, I mean, we turned the ball over three times in the first quarter, um, you know, with the uh, one on a punt, every way you possibly can. One fumble on the kick up on the onside kick, one in the end zone. Uh, can't do those things. Uh, on that side of the ball, I was pretty disappointed with that stuff. Some silly penalties that hurt us at different times and, and missed tackles on the defensive side of the ball that really we could have got off the field. We missed some tackles and had a penalty or two. Uh, in that situation, should have helped us get off the field a little better. Then, you know, a couple drops from our older guys, too, in the game. You know, a, a lot of things that we got to get cleaned up moving forward if we want to go play uh, and, and be as successful as we want to be in the SEC. Uh, but hopefully, now a lot of these young guys. They've been in a game, you know. I mean, I don't. I think the, the, our, our kickoff coverage team, like every guy on that team, I think it was their first snap of college football. Right, one or two that have ever played before. But now they got that under their belt. We got to see huge improvement going into week two. Despite the mistakes, despite the mistakes there in the kick game, still it was two big plays in the kicking game that, that kind of turned things around. Really huge plays, you know. Really huge plays, and uh, you know, one the punt. You know, we're in a safe punt, but uh, you know, they're rolling out, kicking whole line drives. I guess I mean it was smart. We had. I think it was Ryan got it. Uh, I mean, six foot seven. So I mean, he just kicked it right into him. Ends up being a big play. And, and obviously, the kickoff return was uh, was huge. One time they kicked it deep to us. We brought it back for a touchdown. Holloway with great speed. So uh, we did. You know, and there, there, there's gonna be a lot of things. You watch this film. You're gonna say, boy, we did a lot of things really good. We did a lot of things really poorly. I guess you know. Honestly, I want to be really clean in the first game. We didn't accomplish that. You know, we, we were really good and really bad, not really clean. How's that affect your uh, preparation? Well, I think it's tricky because you know, they got a new, new defensive coordinator. They got a lot of new personnel. Uh, you know, they're going to get a good opportunity to watch us play, and we're not going to get any opportunity to watch them play. But uh, you know, but I guess for some of their young players right now, they didn't get the reps in the, in, in the situation that our guys got. So. I, I don't know if it's an advantage or a disadvantage. I'm just keeping up so sorry. If it's an advantage or a disadvantage. How much did it help you guys? How much did it help you guys? Maybe a couple of onside kicks you had to defend, some double passes, some things so they're misdid. Well, they, I mean, they threw everything at yeah. us. You know what I mean? And, and like you said, I mean, they played well. I mean, you're, you're, you're talking about, uh, you know, you look at the difference between this year and last year. I mean, uh, you know, I, I think they're, you, you can see they're, they're a much more veteran group, a much improved team. We, we got some younger players. Uh, uh, that were out there on the field, you see that difference in, in these two games. Plus, the environment, the crowd was uh, was a great play, uh, a great environment here. So, uh, but I, it is good for our guys. They, they got they threw a lot at us. There's going to be a lot of things for our guys to see and go learn from. What do you think of the defensive lines play today? It's like they were kind of the backbone of the defense. Ours? Yes. Yeah. At times, I, at times I thought really solid. Uh, making some big plays. We played a bunch of guys. I would have liked to get one or two more guys in the game. All the Corey Thomas got in much or at all. Uh, Brax, I don't know how much he got in. Uh, you know, to get those guys in the game and get reps. So you, you're going to have to play a ton of those guys in this league throughout the year. Uh, but, but I do. I, I think, you know, again, there's a bunch of guys haven't been in that role before. You know, Chris Jones is now like one of the leader, you know, he was a guy who could just follow guys before and go be a playmaker. Now he's got to be a leader. I think he did a pretty good job of that. Uh, but a lot of other guys got some reps. You know, Ryan making big guys we count on doing good things. Want to continue to see all those guys improve. I think overall uh, played well. You know, I mean, at times we gave up a little bit too many yards on defense with some things, but I, I don't think it's a, a, an issue. I think it's something we can easily make some adjustments to. How big did you think the fighting play was between Gus and Justin Johnson? I thought they did a great job. I mean, they both caught touchdown passes, right? I mean, Justin Johnson was like his third play of his career. I mean, <laughs> his first series, he has two catches and a touchdown. He must think, holy cow, this college stuff's pretty easy. Um, but, uh, no, I mean, he's had a great training camp. Gus, you know, Gus is a guy we're, we're depending on to be, be the guy at that position. And, um, you know, I mean, that, that's always been a huge and critical position for us. And, and they're just new faces. I'm really pleased that they made those plays and hopefully that confidence uh, keeps them moving into the season. For Peters, Deer, and 
Johnson. When did you know that you know they were going to be ready for this game? Uh, as true freshmen. Well, you know, I mean, you know, uh, Justin, you know, came with, he made the move right before training camp, moving to tight end. I said, you might have a great opportunity to play if you can learn. And he got a lot of reps uh, and did a great job, showed that he could do it. So, I mean, it was a, that was a pretty easy decision. Malik graduating early, obviously. That changes everything, you know, I mean, for all high school kids. If they graduate early, it's going to put them in a much better position to get on the field. Um, you know, and then, and then Jamal, I mean, I, I don't think we're done. You know, there's still a chance Mark Thorne will probably play at some point, you know, a little bit this year. Uh, Maurice Smither, you know, there's some, there's some other guys, depending on health of how things go, that we got to go get guys ready to get in the game and get guys ready to go play. Uh, so I think there'll be even more going out there in the field. But, you know, those guys have shown that they can do athleticism, not just, you know, Jamal's a guy that really stood out to me in special teams. You know, I talk talk to these guys all the time in high school. You know, here's Jamal Peter. I mean, All-American, five-star, or whatever, everything, recruit. You know, but understood when I talk to them, when guys get in, you get, this is college, this is the SEC. You got to learn to be a special teams player. And you know what? He bought into that right from day one and earned, uh, started on two different special teams. Special teams, Western Great knocked through a couple of field goals, make matters there. He did, and did a great job of it. He's been really consistent all through training camp, you know. Uh, and uh, I'm really pleased to see that with him, you know, his confidence. I mean, he might have so much confidence, he might even like have to shave tomorrow. Um, you know, I mean, it all like he's grown up now. Uh, but um, you know, I, it was good to see him go perform uh, that way and have the confidence out there on the field. You know, because he tries to look like he's telling me he's confident, but I mean, he's, it's still like, sometimes really not so confident. <laughs> Talk about the goal a lot of completions the tight ends and running backs. Is that by design, or is that what kind of what Southern Miss was giving you? Well, they were really giving it. They're, you know, playing kind of playing a quarters, playing off, playing a little bit soft, and, and keeping everything in front of them some. And you know, so I mean, Dak. You know, the nice thing is with, with a guy like Dak is going to be in control again. I think he, you know, he he he, he was. Uh, I hate to say he was pushing and forcing some things. You know, he had a couple high throws today. Uh, but I, but I thought you know with his experience right there you just see he, if, if they're gonna play he's not gonna go force balls down the field you know what I mean I think he was pressing himself to go make some throws and that result in high throws but not throwing the ball into bad situations just taking whatever they give us and, and managing the game the right way. Holloway had the big kickoff return for a touchdown but how much did you think he affected the, the offense in the rushing? Well, I think a lot. You know, like I said, I mean, everyone's like you know who's the guy? I don't know. They, they, he brings you know Shumpert and him bring kind of. You run the same play, and it's two different plays, you know, because it's a, you know, I mean, one guy's going to power and pound you, and the other guy's all of a sudden is going to hit a crack and, and be gone in the open field. Uh, so I think they kind of, they complement each other really well. And, um, you know, I thought Brandon played really well when did that. I thought Shump ran the ball hard, too. The one fumble is disappointing, but, uh, you know, he ran the ball really physical. Could Tevez have played if he needed to tonight? Uh, you know, talking to the trainers, it was something they were saying, yeah, he was prepared to play, and we are ready to get him in there and play. Uh, and, and, and just something even before the game, you know, he didn't practice a whole lot this week. The, the plan was having ready for Saturday. Uh, you know, and he desperately wants to get on the field to go play. Uh, but it was, you know, one on Saturday. I don't, I don't even tell. It, it was one we kind of made a decision. He wasn't playing before the game, no matter what happened. So I, I mean, I guess he could have been available, but we, we pre-decided no on him, so he'd get a lot of treatment. He kind of prepared himself not to play in the game. So. Expected to be there for LSU. Yeah. Oh yeah. You had a question? Yeah, I cut you off. Time for the, one more, please. defensive plays got the goal line stand. And yeah. Oh, the goal line stand was huge. I mean, the game had everything, right? I mean, it kind of had it all. I mean, it had onside kicks, had blocked punts, had fumbled special teams plays, had goal line stands, big long runs, kickoff returns for touchdowns. I mean, you name it, it had it in this game. So, uh, any, any viewers stayed up to watch. They probably saw a pretty neat, exciting game and a, a great game for the people of Mississippi. I, I think it was great having this rivalry uh, back and a great game for the people of Mississippi. And, uh, you know, I hope people around the country got to stay up. I don't know. You're, it looks yep. like you're already falling asleep right now. <laughs> you guys got to get your five-hour energy start writing, right? you got, you got a Tuesday deadline to make right now. <laughs> Uh, but it was a huge, I think a huge turning point for us in the game right there for our defense and a huge boost for our defense to make that stop down there. Uh, you know, I know Manny will tell you that and talks about it all the time. If we got six, if we can keep them out of the end zone from six inches away, all we got to do is not give up a big play and they won't score and, I, and we were able to do that tonight. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.